you want to go deeper with people. And, you know, to really trust the Lord, to really use you to impact people with the gospel. So we went to the western part of Tanzania, and that was the year that the Rwanda genocide happened. That experience there is something I cannot absolve myself of. I was out with my national counterpart, and we were out preaching, and we were coming back, we decided to rest by the river. And we saw bodies floating down the river. It was a traumatic event for us as we sat there and realized this is a Christian, supposedly Christian country, and here this is happening. In Kilomosoko, where we live, there are about seven churches. In the last three years, we've been trying to challenge them that they need to look outside of their own denomination, outside of their own tribes, to the people around them. It's been exciting to see these churches realize that they have a calling. That is really what we want to see, is the Tanzanian church taking up the call to go out and reach unreached areas. In the central part of Tanzania, among the Rangi people, an unreached people group where there had been very little outreach, the person who's leading that ministry right now, who we've turned over, he's a Rangi himself, um, he was a Muslim, uh, came to Christ, went to seminary, he's back, and now he's leading the ministry there, the church is, is, is flourishing. What a joy to see that, in a sense, handoff happen. One of the exciting partners that we're working with is a young couple. A couple years ago, we'd started doing some outreach to a village called Ruhatwe, and since they have been in Ruhatwe, they have been on fire for the Lord. This church is growing in leaps and bounds from no known believers to 10 being baptized. There's a waiting list of more people who want to be baptized. And so our burden, our passion, is to see the gospel go forth and reach the rest of Tanzania. We're privileged to be a part of what High Point is doing and in, in our lives and in our ministry, God's kingdom is advancing and it's exciting. You know, I feel like I have the best job in the world. You know, be on the front lines and watching God move.